What's going on, everybody? Paulie here, the Latino Slant, thelatinoslant.com movie reviews. We're gonna be connecting to these videos. I got two movies, two videos that are gonna be connected to each other, plus, plus article reviews by our other writers on latinoslant.com. Here we go. ISS starring Ariana DeBose, and afterwards, Origin by Ava DuVernay. So I'm um, walking into the theater. We're gonna do a double header. Um, listen, I, I, I think uh, ISS is gonna be pretty solid. Sounds like a good cast and from what I'm hearing, uh, a lot of people are digging it. Uh, so I'll let you know how I feel about that. All right, getting out of the theater, local Cinemark. And if uh, you saw our review of uh, Origin, welcome to this video. I Man. just got out of ISS. Listen, it's a good little science fiction um, premise, uh, which I really dig. What if you're part of an international team of scientists and you believe in the work you're doing on the space station, Russian and American, all of a sudden the world goes to shit, nuclear war, and your government tells you you have to take over the station. So that's the premise. It puts uh, everyone in jeopardy. People uh, you would think would act uh, a little more uh, civil and humane to each other because they are scientists. Well, that's not the case. And that's really the gist of the, gist, the, gist of the movie. And it, it, it succeeds because it is a pretty much a short story. I mean, it's an hour and a half, uh, I, if that. And, and they, they told their story very straightforward, very plainly, good entertainment. Uh, that's what good science fiction does. It puts very human, personal uh, characters into very... Uh, extreme, I wanna say background and uh, uh, positions that, of that is, you know, you are part of a, the, the, the last survivors of a nuclear war, you know, in, as far as taking over the station and all that stuff. But what's interesting is the relationships they have with each other if everyone's got a little background story they don't give too much which i think is also works as well uh they're the most that they give to ariana debose's character is that she's a loner and she works well alone and she's been kind of uh uh screwed over by her her past uh, relationship but also too the type of work she does was inspired by her father needing an organ donor and he didn't make it in time. So that was, that was a good touch. That's a good touch. And it, 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 it begs us to, to, to kind of ponder this whole idea of, you know, being one human humanity coming together under these most extreme circumstances. Some some are with it, some aren't. I I, I dug I dig that type of story storytelling, a good science fiction storytelling where it goes beyond any silly, silly kind of uh, uh, modern idiotic uh, kind of faux made issues of the day, where it's just like, hey, what kind of person would you be if the if the whole world goes to shit? I, I like that a lot. It's not, listen, it's not the greatest film, but it's pretty entertaining. The actors are really good. Chris Messina, love him, love the Russians. And there is something very interesting, real, grounded, sensitive, uh, and, uh, and, and present about Ariana's acting. So, yeah, I, I'm actually really, really happy she took this project on because, you know, she won the Academy Award for West Side Story. She played Anita. And in the roles that I see that she's going to do this year, this is one of the first ones, they're all against type. They're all against type. Like, you know, that Latina stip, uh, Spitfire, you know, she's a scientist. Later on in the year, she's going to be Calypso and Craven the Hunter. 
and then we're gonna see her in Argyle. So that, it's fantastic to, to see this young woman's uh, career uh, kind of unfold her cinematic career. You know, she's a classy person as far as her presentation of who she is uh, as, a, as a celebrity. And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of hers. I have been a big fan of hers. So that's ISS. I would give ISS out of how many bigotes? Let's give it, I want to give it a 2.8 out of four bigotes. Just above that. Just, well, no, wait, hold on. 2.5. 2.5 there you go it's a good good strong slightly above average uh uh you know review for iss enjoy also our iss review on latinoslant.com by rosa Pada. link is in the video box description also check out our review of ava duvernay's origin come up right now there you go boom peace out y'all be well